And we will kick things off with Lauren Williams. Hi, Justin. Welcome back to Atlanta. I'm just curious, you're getting a chance to reunite with Coach Nate McMillan. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, first of all, hi. Thank you. Uh, I am very, very, very excited uh, to be playing for Nate again. Uh, it's a very, very comfortable space uh, that I am in. Uh, we know each other very well. Uh, we had a successful season together as far as making it to the playoffs. Um, and, you know, to have a coach that believes in you, a uh, coach that knows what you like to do and put your positions to be successful, uh, something that's very, very exciting. So I'm happy to be back with Nate and, uh, you know, hopefully get some some good things going. And you'll kind of be a bit of a veteran presence on this team. What are you hoping to kind of teach the younger guys and help this team get to the next level? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to be an example um, in how I go about my job, how I go about, you know, approaching each day, uh, how I am as far as being a teammate, uh, encouraging and, uh, you know, pushing uh, each, each of, of the players. Uh, I've actually experienced probably everything you can as an NBA player other than being drafted and being on a two-way contract. So I have a lot of experience in dealing with a lot of uh, ups and a lot of downs. And I think I would be able to, uh, you know, help in those spaces and kind of giving my, you know, my two cents uh, and giving my opinion on some things and as well as listening and being a, a, a soundboard for some of the younger players that, you know, are new to this or experience some things that are a little different or new. Um, and again, it's just, just being in a place of, of helping with confidence because a lot of things I've learned in this league and uh, trying to be able to keep your confidence and, and, and to stay in, in, that, in that space of being mentally free and, and focus on what you're trying to do, sometimes it can get tough when things aren't going the way you want it to. Next question goes to Terrell Thomas. Good afternoon and uh, welcome again to Atlanta. Um, Two-part question for you. Of course, you'll have the opportunity again uh, to play with your brother. Your, you and your brother will be on the same team. Can you talk about uh, what your expectations uh, as far as that is concerned? And then being on the team with Trey Young, a gentleman I know you've seen from afar. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk to me about your thoughts on Trey Young and how your game and his game will coexist? Yeah, uh, you know, adding another layer to comfort uh, and, and having my brother with me. Uh, you know, other than the year I won a championship with the Warriors, my favorite year probably playing basketball was when I was with Aaron. And to be able to tap into that again and hopefully have a better uh, year than we did uh, that year is something that's very, very exciting. Um, being able to play with one another, as far as chemistry goes, there's not much, there's not pretty, I don't think there's any better situation to be in to have your brother who you know the ins and outs of and, you know, grew up with and uh, know them personally on a different level than other people. Um, it's something that's going to be good and something that will be seen and translates to the court uh, effortlessly. Um, and again, to have somebody that, you know, I, I'm very, very comfortable with. So when I'm on the road, you know, not that I don't have friends and uh, teammates, but I have my brother with me. Like if you have a good relationship with your brother, <laughs> with the family member, think about having them at your job, you know, and, and being in the space of playing basketball uh, as, as a job, it doesn't really get much better than that. So I'm very excited about that. And as far as being able to play with Trey, I'm excited about that as well. Um, you know, we know Trey's a great player, all-star player, and uh, the, the attention that he's going to bring, he's going to get, um, will open up a lot of things for, you know, the other players. And the rest of us are going to be ready to, you know, step up and do our jobs in that position. And I think uh, I'm a perfect person to, to fit in that space. I shoot the ball well, uh, very well. So when he is being doubled and things like that, guys like myself being left open or Aaron or, you know, other guys on the team that can shoot the ball, I think will be very, very important. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the way I think about the game, uh, think about ways to be able to get him uh, open, get him available, um, I think will we'll be good. Uh, you guys have probably seen me from afar. Uh, but, you know, Nate knows and, you know, ex teammates, my brothers know that the type of player that I am, I'm a very, very cerebral player. So I do think a lot. Uh, I try to make smart plays. I try to make the right plays. And I feel that's going to help Trey and, uh, and, and I mean, the rest of the teammates in, in what we're doing and moving forward. And uh, then, like I said, defensively, you know, I'll be able to.
the guard, you know, ones, twos, uh, you know, and, and kind of, and, and my brothers will be able to allow Trey to not have to do that as much. And I mean, I haven't even talked about DeJounte yet, so we know he's going to be taking on a lot of that as well. So adding a lot of defense, man, and, and the things that, you know, I bring to the game and, you know, Aaron brings to the game and DeJounte brings to the game, uh, shoot that Mo brings to the game is going to be, I think, very, very helpful for Trey to allow him to focus on doing what he does best, man. And that's getting that ball in that basket, getting his teammates involved and, uh, you know, hopefully helping and then winning more games. Thank you very much. And again, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. We'll go to Bob Rathbun next. Hey, Justin, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? A little, uh, I'm good. Yeah, a little nicer <laughs> practice facility uh, yeah. this time around. Yeah, things are different. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, you've had a taste of the playoffs, you know, what it's like to be at the top of the mountain. And of course, every player in this league wants to get back there as fast as they can. This is a team that has expectations. They want to get back to where they were a couple of years ago. From the outside looking in and now as a member of the Hawks, how do you really process this anticipation of a new season and, and getting back? Because you know what it takes to win in the playoffs. Yeah. From the outside, um, you know, this team has always been a team that uh, I feel like has a chance to do, to do well and go deep into the playoffs. And they've shown it. Um, you know, with their grit. Uh, the thing I actually liked a lot about, you know, the playoff runs that they've had were how greedy they were. Um, you know, I, I actually think about, you know, Trey Young playing in the garden um, and how those guys all went in there like dogs, man, and, and went and tried to take what they wanted. So that's very, very exciting. And it's very, very exciting to have those expectations of want to win. I want to be a part of a team and a part of an organization that wants to win and expects to win. Because uh, if you don't have those expectations, then, you know, there's no use you really going out there and so um i'm at a point to where i want to win and i will do anything i can to uh help do so and um and, and that's it's regards to what it is i'm gonna give everything i can to, to do that and that's my mind you know my body of course um and just and sacrificing for this team to do so so i'm very very excited to have those expectations i'm excited to uh be a part of this team and add to what they have um because I do feel that I can help in a, in a lot of areas. And um, I'm excited to see the special things that we will see from this team and the pairing of <laughs> DeShante Murray and Trey, the pairing of myself and Aaron. Um, and then, you know, all of us obviously being together. So it's very, very exciting. And again, man, I hope we come here and uh, do special things. Awesome. Welcome back and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Next question goes to Jamila Johnson. Hey, Justin, welcome back to Atlanta. Um, so I wanted to ask you with your experience, is it, are you at a point in your career where you're looking to add more to your game or is it kind of that you're just kind of honing in on the skills that you already have? And if so, what are you looking to add? Um, I feel as a basketball player or in anything you do, you're always trying to add, you're always trying to improve. Uh, you become smarter and wiser in the things that, uh, you need to be able to do and things that um, can can help advance you in, in your your craft. And so I'm always trying to improve. I don't feel anyone is ever in a space where they can't improve anymore. Um, as well as honing in on the things I do I do well. Um, so I'm working on all of my game like I always have every season, every summer, to try to be the best I can. Because um, you know I've been in this league ten years. Everyone knows what I do very very well, and those things will they will try to take those things away. Uh, so I have to be able to do other things. I have to be able to, uh, you know, put myself in a position, my teammates in a position to be successful as well. And if you're one dimensional or can't do certain things, then, uh, you know, you won't be able to do so. So I've been working on everything. Um, and I, you know, I want to improve even on the things I do well, you know, I'm going to shoot the ball better. I'm going to defend better. Um, and a lot of that sometimes does come from uh, becoming smarter, uh, understanding the game more, having years in your boats where you've seen any and everything and to, uh, you know, kind of focus on those things in the summer and break down uh, certain situations that have been, have been in that I might be in. And again, now to this team situations, I will be in with, with the different type of players that we have now. So I'm working on to prove everything and to come in the best player I can uh, and to help the team. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question goes to Edwin Powell. What's going on, man? Edwin Powell from the Hawks Beat Podcast. Um, 
how do you feel that you've grown since the last time you were here? Oh, geez. <laughs> like as a player's man, you know, just in general. Uh, one, I'm a lot older. <laughs> uh, geez, I was really young then and uh, trying to find my way, uh, trying to establish myself. And I've, I've grown a lot mentally in understanding this game, understanding who I am, uh, understanding how to deal with the ups and definitely the downs. Um, you know, the, the person I was at that time was a lot more emotional, um, allowed things to affect me emotionally a lot more than they do now. I'm a lot more calm uh, and, and I think a little more positive because I was in this place, I was really, really tough on myself. And now I'm as tough, I'm, I'm tough on myself now, but I give myself a lot more grace. So I've grown a, a lot mentally since I've been there. And then as far as my game is gone, I'm just sharpening all the tools that I had then uh, kind of, um, you know, allow myself to learn, uh, you know, the best ways to work on my game, uh, how to be smarter about it, how to not waste time in the gym and to really get in there and be efficient and be an all around efficient player. So uh, I've, I've improved in a lot of ways. I've grown a lot and I've become a lot wiser. Any other questions for Justin? Pat Benson. Hey, Justin, it's Pat from SISAllHawks.com. Uh, I've seen you posting about the old video game seri series, NBA Street Volume 2. I was going to see, like, how is that going to influence your game or your persona on the court? Where is that coming from? That was just the post I decided to do because of how my hair looked. <laughs> my hair was, you know, out of braids and just um, I had had the Afro going. So that's the reason why I kind of tapped into that, kind of showed my age a little bit. And, uh, yeah, no, it's just social media and posting things. You know, uh, my game and the things I do on the court, um, has nothing to do with, I guess, what I do post on social media. Social media is just social media to me, and that's all it is, and I'll leave it at. Sounds good, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Any other questions for Justin? Not seeing any hands raised, so we will conclude today's media availability. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Justin, and welcome to Atlanta. Yeah.